Chickens, rabbit. Don't you misbehave. Rabbit, Jack. Devil's in the playroom. And Mummy's in a rave. Sleep, my little nickens. Happy as you can be. Dream the dreams of treasure thrown into the sea. You should have seen her in Acapulco. All that spiky jewelry and spiky hair with everyone else walking around looking like Marie Antoinette. <laughs> anyway, time passes and I get this card from her. And on the back it says, Greetings from Paris. After us, the deluge. Come visit, Sasha. But it was postmarked Manhattan. Felix said she couldn't even make it out of a room. <laughs> she should definitely do something about her brother, Johnny. <laughs> what a case. He's headed for big trouble. Speak of the devil, here he comes. <laughs> Did you have a nice sleep, Johnny? You missed the party. <laughs> Look at John, he's so wasted. Look, he's got a gun. Somebody, will you check if Johnny's gun is loaded? Johnny, that's not funny. Will you stop fooling with that gun? Johnny, stop somebody it. get that gun away from him. Johnny, no. Somebody help me. Get lost. Get away from her. And who might you be, sir? I'm a goddamn lawyer. Get the hell out of here, unless you're... I'm gone, I'm gone. What's going on? This kid expanded his mind with a 45. Hello? Hang on. Hi, how you doing? How you feeling? <laughs> I bet you've got quite a headache. <laughs> oh, you are in great form today. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm sorry I ran out on you. I just... I just can't stand those people. Oh, they're horrible. Yeah, well... Listen, I almost got killed dialing this phone here. It's a menace. I, you, you have to, you know, dial and look at the road at the same time. I tell you, it's, it's weird. I got you the phone so that I could talk to you whenever I want to. So it's a gift from me. Yeah. Boy, you are hard to please, I swear. Of, of course we've got to go. Yes. We have to have dinner with their spy tonight. Yeah. No, that wasn't her idea. That definitely came from Emmett. Can't stand him. Well, of 
course I'm ready. Drinky. Uh, we have sushi, but uh, doesn't look nearly so friendly as it did last night. Aren't you hungry? I'm starved. Oh. Well, that's much better. Yeah, I like that. Hey, lady. You know, you were great today. Mm -hmm. Except for all the wine you drank. Everybody loved you. Especially your lawyer. <laughs> yeah, Emmett, he's pretty horrible. I kind of thought you liked him. Because you spent so much time with him. Well, he's a pretty charming guy when you get to know him. Old Emmett. It's a great name for a rodent. What happened when he followed you to the bathroom? Oh, you would have liked that. <laughs> it was like being in some kind of drug movie, you know, where everything important happens in the men's room. First of all, there's nobody in there but us, okay? And still he has to stand right next to me. And he actually reached over and had a feel of the cloth on my jacket, all the time looking directly down at me. And he says, Italian? Very nice. She give it to you? And then he, um, he offered me 25,000 and a ticket to anywhere in the world one way if I'd never see you again. He did it very well, too. He uh, made it seem like maybe it was a joke, which I could take seriously if I wanted to. And when I turned him down, he, uh, he pretended nothing had happened. He just put his hand on my shoulder and smiled this kind of smile, as if to say, oh, I only did this because I care about Sasha. But really, it was... Uh, Admiration for someone who turns down his first offer, I guess. I guess. Sasha, I know you must have known he was going to do that. Didn't you? I mean, this is a regular thing around here, isn't it? Is this some kind of a test? Did you think I'd accept his offer? Others have. 
I really didn't know Emmett was going to do that today. Especially not in the bathroom. <laughs> he usually behaves himself at our famous family lunches, but... Besides that, I told him I trusted you. Thanks. You did happen to mention that you, uh, depend completely on this trust fund that he can restrict if he feels you... Get out of control? His very words, in fact. So, did he tell you about my brother? A uh, little. Did he tell you that I killed him? No. What do you mean? Oh, come on. He told you something. What did he say? Well, he said that you had a party last year and your brother shot himself. And he warned me that you're crazy. Yeah? Did you believe him? I think he's crazy. I think your whole family is nuts. Except for me. Well... <laughs> Why did I have to meet him? Why couldn't I just sign something? No, he had to see you. He had to see who's been getting all those toys we've been buying. In case you didn't sign. Oh, but I did. Uh, disclaim all claim on your money, at any rate. That's what took so long. You're gonna be fine. That's what you say. Okay. Sit down. Sit, 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 sit. <laughs> good, good, good. Okay. You sure you want to go to this thing tonight? I thought you hated Catherine. Shut up. And open up. I bought it for you. Yesterday. Why? Don't you know? I'm not sure you know. Let me help you. Jesus Christ, you're lethal. What is this? Well, open it. Oh, I can't stand watching people open my presents. You know, you shouldn't be out here this time of year. Doesn't it just rain all the time? Oh, I stay dry. It's not that your solitude doesn't look enjoyable. Why don't you come into town for a few days? You know, you can stay with me if you don't want to go to your place. Oh, they didn't tell you. I had to rent it out. 
Yeah, I had some bills to pay. So. Besides, I don't want to go to the city right now. It's not good for me. Mm -hmm. We go in. Right. You're not mad at me, are you? No, oh, how can you say that? You know how to stay out of trouble That's with everyone. Don't be like that. At least give me some credit for making things look good. This is beautiful. Yeah, you've always been good at that. <laughs> you know, like that picture in the post of you and your mother? You're making some sort of little yeah. hair packages or something. Yeah, yeah, same old uh, Central American thing, you know. Yeah, the usual grassroots mass murderers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was so cute. You know, you were putting the, the candy bar next to the little snake bite kit and, and the bandages. It was so All right, it's part of that, um, oh, whatever the fuck it's called. You know, that bunch of bandits that Emmett's always giving our money away to. Huh. What money? You know what I mean, that um, Americans for freedom in other places, or the Americans for... Could I have a beer, please? I don't know. Anyway, it was pretty weird because we went to this thing, some meeting with a mummified Air Force general who must have been about 105 years old. He took me by the hand in front of all these people and said to the crowd, We'd especially like to thank Miss Catherine Hall for her gift of a Chinook helicopter. And I'm looking at Emmett like, did we give this guy a helicopter? And he's looking back at me like, yes, we did. <laughs> so the general, he takes out this little map, shows what each little dollar can do. Like UNICEF, you know, where you're buying the milk. For only five cents a day, you can feed Juanita. Only now you want to blow Juanita up because she's a Marxist fucking gorilla. <laughs> Yeah, you know the drill. Dress up the barbed wire with pink bows and white patent leather. <laughs> yeah, and you better shut up about it unless you want the discretionary powers to banish you to hell in a five-flight walk-up in the East Village, right? <laughs> what are you gonna do? I mean, it's not exactly as if anybody asked us which Americans we wanted to support anyway, right? <laughs> That's right. You've got blood coming down your face. And you guys are okay. Like that. Here. Here. But, you know, that's... You okay? Excuse me. Like, you don't have to come along. Oh, don't be silly. So, um, what do you get out of this? Time 20 million and some change. Really? It was just a little coagulation. I don't, I don't do this that often these days, but have you got something? Thanks. Do you want some? sit in my little house and I remember that year your mother threw you out and you came to live with us. <laughs> you know, like the day that we took LSD and we went to school without shirts on underneath our uniforms. Or that day that you, you invited that actor to accept that school prize which didn't exist. <laughs> and when they found out he was coming, they had to invent a prize so he could accept it. So where you been? Is everything okay with you? up and down. I've been looking into a nice little sanitarium. You know, a nut house. Connecticut. Of course, I'd love to go, but, but I can't afford it. I know what you're thinking. What am I thinking? I'd say you want to know why I didn't stick up for you the day after the party. And later. Oh, no, don't worry about it. Well, it's forgiven. Emmett said you weren't anywhere near Johnny when he blew his head off. I lied. You know, I have to say I was never there. <sighs> In a way, it's true. I didn't know what the fuck was going on. Yeah, and you were so whipped out of your mind, you forgot you got him high. Yeah, we were all so fucked up. I mean, what could I say? 
You know, Grandma's whole spiel. Remember what she used to say? You'll find that the world is very impatient with self-inflicted wounds. People in our set are only allowed certain tragedies, my dear. And the list is very short. Stuff we were doing. Stuff Johnny was doing. You either got away with it or you don't. But there's no excuse for it if you get caught. And you didn't, did you? I expected you to show up here with some fake artist. And you show up with this guy. We both did the same thing, didn't we? We went out and got nice boys. Yeah, a little investment banker. He's gonna keep you out of all kinds of trouble, isn't he? That's right. And maybe if you're a good girl, we'll get you out of trouble, too. Get you out of the penalty box and back on the street where you belong. Strategy. No, 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 I appreciate There's no way this makes sense. You made you it simple. You couldn't possibly understand this. Oh, well, fine, but There's I Sasha. don't think I... You're right, I couldn't possibly understand Where's Catherine? Is she coming? Yeah. He says I can't possibly... I don't think this is understandable. That's the it's thing. I think the whole thing is a bluff, you know. I think maybe it just doesn't mean... It. I mean, I think I could, you know, phone up the Wall Street Journal and just take out an ad. You know, this is Michael Collins, a hot shit investment banker, open for business. Yeah, you know, like one of those tombstones you were talking about. A tombstone is an announcement that the deal is done. Oh, I guess that makes the Wall Street Journal like a big uh, obituary column. Depends on your point of view. Yeah. I think we ought to leave now. Just a minute, honey, okay? But we, uh, we haven't, uh, the desserts are supposed to be great here, aren't they? Oh, they brought your beer. Coffee. I have to have coffee. Oh, honey, sit down. We're going to listen to Michael explain it to us. Good evening. Enjoy your salad. Thank you. Uh, aren't you hungry? I mean, the pasta was great. What's the matter with Sasha? What's the matter with you? Can we please go? What do you want? What? Hello. Who invited this Hello. guy, anyway? Awfully sorry, Miss Michaels. Would you please... So, will you watch it out with that thing? Oh, dessert. Tart? That's an offer, by the way, not an accusation. <laughs> no. No, thank you. <laughs> oh, I'd try that one, if I were you. Yeah, right. <laughs> Break it in half first. Is this guy the floor show or what? <laughs> King in my tart. The epiphany is king, and your entrance to a play. You talk American? Huh. American? Feast oh, of the epiphany. Great. Celebrating the adoration of the Magi. It's I, I don't want the tarts, okay? Also known as Twilight Night, or what you will. What is love? It is not hereafter. Present mirth hath present laughter. What's to come is still unsure. In delay. No plenty. Then come kiss me, sweet and twenty. Want to come to a party? Yes, take me. Sasha, we can't go to a party. Oh, I see. It's like a private party. <laughs> <laughs> Sash! Where's she going? She'll be back. Michael, sit down. We'll have some coffee. Sasha!
You ready to go? Catherine, anything you say. Sasha! Bye-bye. Have a nice evening. I do that. <laughs> I knew you would. Oh, yeah? The bill is $244. Yes, yes, yes. I can see that. <laughs> uh, I don't have it. I'm just telling you, I don't have it. Do you have cards? Uh, no, I don't have cards. I got these. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. about you. What do you know about me? I see a very beautiful young lady who lives in a pretty little doll's house with lots of toys. She gets a very generous allowance, but only if she's good. She loves to wake up in the morning and lie around and make lots and lots of plans. What kind of plans does she make? Oh, she'll plan for anything. The afternoon, the evening, the next day, the next week, the next month, the next year, the next decade, the next millennium. As long as she doesn't have to do anything that morning. Oh, I see. So she, she has all kinds of dinner parties then. Ah, yes, but only for the inner circle. She usually gives these enormous buffet, cocktail fates, theme parties. Yes, you see. That's the kind of person she is. But then, someone comes along and fixes all of that. What does he do? He gives her a gift. What is it? It is. It is what? It's like sleep. With good dreams. Normal bad dreams. Only the best ones from now on. And what's in these dreams? Everything she's done before. Things that didn't go right the first time round. You know, like, uh, parents. They'll be there. All I could do without them. But I would like to see Nanny. Well, Nanny will be there, too, standing in the hallway with a big, fat Bible under her arm, saying, Come now, nookings, don't you misbehave. The devil's in the playroom and mum's in a rail. <laughs> what happens when I grow up? All the boys will come. To spend my money and leave me. Alone. Poor things had no love. None at all. No friends to play. Well, they're all working. Gone away. Well, this time, things will be different.
as you didn't tell me it was a costume party. You didn't ask. No, Ken. Hello, baby. That's Faust. My God, Annabelle, there's somebody passed out in the coats. He spilled champagne in the coats. I hope he's not on mine. Hello, darling. Yeah. I don't suppose you've seen Nancy anywhere, have you? She's looking for you. Yes, well, I took the boys on a bit of a rampage earlier on, actually. Little treasure hunt. <laughs> treasure hunt, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm. can see that. Yes, but not for you. <laughs> or you. What is this? This is Sasha Michaels. I'm so sorry I don't have a costume. How could you know? Since you didn't have an invitation. Oh, but you did get an invitation, darling. The boys and I delivered it personally earlier on this evening. Isn't she marvelous? She just needs a costume. Walter? Yes, ma'am. Would you take Miss Michaels where she needs to go? <laughs> Cam? Well, what do you think of that? <laughs> huh? I think you should roll it right back up. Oh, come on. This is classy stuff. It's back in there. Well, that's why I actually like it. I think it would look very good on you. <laughs> what? Wait a second. What am I saying? This is nice. Oh, well, like no, no, no. This is much better. <laughs> okay. You like this one? I like this one. You like all the pearls and stuff? Very romantic. Very old English. It is. Good. I like it. Uh, you might like to try it on. Okay. Yeah. Look, uh, you have a look around. Enjoy yourself. I'll see you later. Something like, please don't take my farm away because I've picked all the corn by myself. <laughs> it is so stupid. Oh, what the hell are cute little antelopes, aren't they? We shot three last time we were out. Bless you, Father. Sasha, what are you doing? Ryan. Well, how are you? I'm well, thank you. Yes, of course you are. Here. Your wife. Yes. <laughs> very pretty and very rich. Aha, uh -huh, can you tell? <laughs> now, don't look at me like that. How do you know I'm not really in love with her? Hmm? Oh, my dear, she is so different to everything I know anything about. <laughs> I might as well have married a Chinese person. <laughs> Where's she from? Los Angeles. <laughs> Sasha, I, I wanted to say to you that how, um... Sorry, I was about Johnny. I know it sounds stupid, but I really am sorry. 
<laughs> Do you know anyone here? Cam. My God, you're not his guest, are you? Now, don't say anything nasty about him, okay? But you could tell me about her. I wouldn't look that one in the eye if I were you. Why, is she Cam's wife? Well... <laughs> she's his sister. How did that happen? Well, everything has to happen. If it hasn't, it's going to. <laughs> so what about this party and oh, these people? It's like a Baroque cattle car. Uh, Nancy and Cam are rich enough. They don't have to do anything for a living, so they're always looking for new things to do. Like what? Well, like new toys, new games. Darling, you must be bored with Brian by now. Mm. Come with me. I shall, Save me. I shall whisk you away from all of this. I shall take you to a place that is... <laughs> Tell me you were adopted. He didn't? No. Too bad. It's such a sad story. <laughs> and I find it so much easier to be seductive under tragic circumstances. And being seduced. Are you? <laughs> Not yet. Well, you are spending the evening with me. Hmm. I think so. <laughs> you wanted to play, did you? You can't wait. No, I'm taking you know, I think you're lying. I think you love it. Do you? Well, should I be asking you about yourself? I mean, would that be polite? <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> then we'll just have to sit here and look at each other until we can figure out what not to say. <laughs> okay. Would you like to dance? Excuse me? Would you like to dance? Let's twist again, like we did last summer. Yes. Oh, yeah. Anything you say, I'll do anything you want. <laughs> Let's twist again, <laughs> like we did last year. Sure to dance. <laughs> <laughs> Brian. <laughs> oh, God, that can such a turd. <laughs> well, Sasha's got a work cut out for her. Brian! <laughs> oh, God. Brian! Darling! Thank you, darling. You look lovely, too. Mm. Nice conversation. Well, <laughs> yes, I thought I'd do you a favor. Until that brother of yours butted in. Thought I might try and scare her off. That's what you want, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. It might be fun. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Brian. <laughs> Brian. Yes, Fliss. Are you coming home? No, Fliss, we're not coming home. No, you mustn't. Fun's just beginning. Catch up. Fliss! Fliss, wait for me. Oh, dear. Nancy wants a chat. What, no matter? Ah. Oh. She doesn't like the little princess Cam's brought home. Aren't you concerned about my happiness? Well, I don't care about your little frolics. This one's different. She's a stranger. She's just a bit of fun. Unless I stop it. Oh, she's very good at stopping things, isn't she? And what will Queen Stopper do this time, hmm? What little scenario would you dream up to stop Cam's fun this time? Oh, any little scenario that Cam would like. You could give me the truth. You could tell her how little Cam and little Nancy grew up together. Stop it. Oh, no, I think she'll want to hear the whole story. How Daddy found out about us and got very, very upset. But clever little Nancy made a plan, didn't she? Daddy went to sleep. Because you wanted me to. Don't leave me. You sicken me.
got to get away from you for a while. Where will you go? <laughs> you can just see it. Little Cam with a little wife on a little farm with a little car. Stop it! No! It's never going to stop. I sicken you. You are my sickness. You're stuck with me. I'm stuck with you. Forever. Forever and ever. Poor little Cam. Nancy's clever boy. <laughs> Got lots of tricks he's up his sleeve, but Nancy knows them all. Well, maybe it's time for it to end. If Cam wants the game to stop, Nancy will stop the game for good. All right. Darling. We'll play the game tonight. And I'll let you have the little princess. She'll watch the game. Every card that's dealt. Every move that's made. She'll even see the victor with his winnings. All without knowing what the heck's going on. It's dangerous. That's the fun part. Okay, my little honey bears, uh, find a seat and sit in it. Sorry, want another card? Well, I would love another one. Yes, I'm sure you would. <laughs>
I need one more, please. Thank you. Hit me. One. I have a natural. <laughs> what are they playing? There aren't any stakes. Oh, yes, there are. What are they? Depends on who's playing. And why. <laughs> what would they be if I played? One on one, 21. You? <laughs> Good, I'd lose me if I lose. <laughs> no. You lose you if you win. Then? Then we can sleep. <laughs> so much.
you home. Come. Come on. Oh, no, I think I should wait for a cab. Shh. Tomorrow night. It's weird outside, isn't it? So still. So 
Natasha, I... You know, I had the strangest dream last night. There were all these... There were all these Mexicans, and they were... They were all over the house, and... All I was trying to do was get a drink. And they kept saying to me, what are you doing? What are you doing here? What... Don't you have something to do? Everybody does something. Are you going someplace? I was thinking I should. Where? Home. Montana. Tell you what, why don't you come? I can't. So what are you gonna do? I don't know. It just seems like if you just did something. I mean, you can do whatever you want. You can go anywhere. Uh, you can... Paris, Rome, New Delhi. This is no good. It's it's three years old. It's no good anymore. Most of them aren't. Oh. Well, this one's okay. This one's still valid. Managua? What are you checking up on your investments? Or is it just maybe a social visit to the local aristocracy? Sasha, look. Look, you got, you got tickets to everywhere. You got anywhere you want to go. I mean, you got, what, uh, maybe $10,000, $20,000 worth of expired tickets that you never used. I mean, I, I can understand you got problems. I know your, your brother and your lawyer and your family and... I can even understand you're dumping me last night at the restaurant. I mean, you're bored, whatever. But what the fuck? I mean, what this is it? This is Johnny's ticket. This is my brother's ticket. Oh. This was our plan to get back at Catherine and Emmett. We were going to pay to fly surgeons and all kinds of equipment down to this little hospital down there. <laughs> we even had a jukebox for the cafeteria. But he went to incredible lengths to keep it a secret from us, from the family. He loved it, the whole thing. It was like being in a spy novel for him. It was, there was nothing political about it. It was just... He just loved the idea of... of taking Catherine's bullets out of people and giving them back to her. <laughs> taking what? <laughs> He had this fantasy. He thought that if he kept them with him all the time, that one day he'd see her, you know, at a party or in front of one of her favorite restaurants or stores or something. And he'd, and he'd go up to her and he'd say, I think these are yours. Look, you 
Here's the ticket. Just take it. Do it. You, 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 you do it. Just take. You can. You can just, just do it. Just, just take it and do it. You don't understand anything, do you? You can't just do it. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess no. You're right. I don't understand. Excuse me. See, I'm. Sim from Montana, I just didn't know that. No, if you, you, you don't do it, of course, no. Heaven forbid that you do it. You don't do anything, you, you, you shoot yourself instead. Gosh, an accident. to work in your favor. Ugh, okay. Oh, now don't look at I'm them. I'm not looking. I'm looking, oh, I'm looking at you. Look at me. No, I'm not. No, look at me. You're cheating. <laughs> Hurry up. <laughs> I'm sorry. Here, look. There. I know you go. No, it's right. no timer. I hate that thing. It's right. There you go. See, there's good ones right there. See? Oh, shut up. I'm helping you. 
I don't need help. <laughs> hate to lose by any chance? No, I just hate playing all these dumb games. Oh, I see. and why would that be a wonder? <laughs> Okay. Why do you do that? What? That's sucking on your fingers. You do that every time you think you're gonna win. Well, I don't think I'm... You, you've got time. Just write a word or two. Maybe I've we'll... got them in my head. I'm terribly sorry. I didn't realize. <clears throat> oh, no, that's a five. I'm done. It's all over. I win. Oh, I'm afraid not. I think that's like ten games for me now. What, is this what do you mean ten games? I told you I have all these wonderful words in my head. Yeah, right there. See, that's ten games. It's not ten. Oh, well, how about... No. I'll write down... No, you're right. I should write down these words that are in your head. Go ahead. Oh, you're a creep. No, I take Stop. vacation. I'll do it. <laughs> I have very... You don't want to do that. I've got very cold hands. Oh, stop it! No, they are cold! Stop it! They're cold! They really are! Kind of cold. Stop no, it. stop it. Michael, no, stop it. Stop oh, it. Oh, I'm right on the timer. Oh, God. I don't want to play anymore. Okay, what do you want to do? I just want to go to bed. Okay. I want to be alone. Michael, it's okay. No, really. No, take a minute. Just... Michael, just leave this. That. You're the boss. No, I'm not. So glad you got your invitation. Glad you could make it. I wanted to see you. I wanted to see you too. I wanted to see how much of you I'd invented and, and how much was real. Ooh. Gosh, there were so many things about last night that were so strange to me. Those people. The things I thought I saw. That game. <laughs> girl wants to play. Well, isn't that nice? Isn't that splendid? That's just what Nancy wants. That's what she's wanted all along. Maybe you can watch. Then you'll be just like us. Is that what you want? I want to play. Then I get a prize. It is. Like sleep. With only good dreams.
Oh. Now Sasha must play Mervyn. Can't hear you. Could you open the window? Go to the door. Door. Hi. Who are you? I, I'm supposed to be uh, at the party. I can't find it. <laughs> Could you tell me where it is? No, there's no party. No. But I, I know there is. See, I, I had an invitation. I'm, I'm supposed to be with somebody who's at the party. Who? Sasha Michaels. Miss Michaels? Yes. No, but couldn't couldn't I just come in for one no, second? Just, no, you just can't. no, if you just tell me where it, it is, I'll I'll be fine. Hello? I don't want to play anymore. You already have. This isn't right. You shouldn't be doing this. Winner needs a glass of brandy. She wants to go. Tell me a game. If it's a game, what happened to the woman last night?
Sasha! Sasha! You've got to get ready. I'm taking you out tonight. Why don't you... Here. Remember that? That Easter that Grandma thought she was dying. She was going around dangling all of her heirlooms in front of us. She was sorry after. gonna love these guys. They're really wild. I remember one of my last junior cotillions, they brought in this box of white homing pigeons and they let them loose in the ballroom. They were flying all over the ballroom. Come on, listen. You've got to stop thinking about him. It won't do any good. Really, you're not to blame. Do you understand that? You're not to blame. There's nothing else they can do to you. I mean, you've got to admit, Emmett may have been an asshole in the past, but he really did get you out of this one. How can you feel sorry for the guy? He turned himself in, he was crazy. You've got to be fair to yourself, right? Come now, Nookins. Don't you misbehave. Devil's in the playroom, and Mummy's in a rave. Sleep, my little Nookins, happy as you can be, dreaming the dreams of treasure thrown into the sea.